working on a 2016 Scion i8, so Indigo Apple i8. Um, basically, I'm doing the water pump replacement. Now, this thing's a pain in the butt. Um, well, I mean, it's very easy to get to. So, basically, when you have the pulley right here, I'm just gonna kind of break it down. I already have most of it off. Um, and I'm putting the pulley on it. So let's say we have the pulley on. Um, you're gonna take off the main drive belt, which um, there's a little tensioner right there. It's a 17 millimeter. So it's gonna be this bolt right there. So it's gonna be that bolt right there that's on the hydraulic tensioner. And then uh, you'll release that belt for that. And then there's a second belt, skinnier belt. Now on this we'll have three eight millimeter bolts. Um, they shouldn't be torqued on there too much. I mean, they should probably be 11 foot pounds at the most. Now, if you're having a hard time taking off that bolt, what you can do is you could spin this bracket right here until you find that little guide pin right there. And then, I mean, you can stick a, probably like a socket in there. Let's see. Yeah, so you can stick like a, you know, a little quarter inch ratchet or something. I, I did, what is it? can't focus on it but I'll read it out to you so I, um, this is a 3 16 um, socket quarter inch you might need to put a, a little bit longer um, quarter inch in there or don't put it in all the way or yeah so this this will fit perfect um, right in there and then this will lock this pulley in place until you release these three bolts um, once you get the bolts off I still have the belt on and then I, I loosen them up by hand you can take this guy off, the one that's holding in the pulley, once you loosen up all the bolts. Um, I mean, you don't need no extension. The the pulley, the pump will be right here. It'll be facing right there. And this area, so right here in this area. <clears throat> then you're going to have one little clip that clips onto right here. You're going to push with the flathead screwdriver. You're going to push up from up bottom and then right here down top. And then you're gonna um, with the flathead screwdriver or pick, and then just pull pull the the connector back. Um, then also there is a uh, the water pipe right here. Get my light on. So right there, there's a water pipe. There is a bracket. I don't know if you can see that bracket that's hanging right right there. That little bracket. There's gonna be a uh, I believe it's a 10 millimeter bolt um, that's holding it. Once you loosen up that bolt, then you should be able to, um, the pipe should be free. Then obviously you're going to have to drain all your coolant that's coming out of there. And now you're going to have three 10 millimeter, or 10 millimeter bolts that are going to hold this guy in. These are the main bolts. So one, two, and three 10 millimeter bolts. Very easy to take off. Not hard. Um, the main hardest part about this damn thing is pulling it off the, the water pipe. I think it was, I mean, obviously once you take off those three bolts, obviously you're going to disrupt that gasket and mess up, um, the gasket can go bad. Um, this is a Mazda motor, 1.5, so you're aware of that. Um, quotes almost about two, quotes about two hours for the job. Now, I'm not going to lie, the job's very easy. The hardest part about the damn thing was taking off the was taking off this guy right here so this is how it's gonna sit um and like with this guy right here this is how this is gonna sit i took off all these eight millimeter bolts i accessed it from right here took off the the passenger wheel that's a 21 millimeter um i have the car jacked up from right here on the subframe the the big hard peat with the notch and then I have my jack stand right there you don't want the car to fall on you um, and so yeah I mean you're gonna have to I was able to actually spin it and um, you're gonna have to wiggle it out I mean like wiggle it out so you're gonna go back and forth back and forth I, I was able with both hands so I had one hand up on top and then the other hand on bottom and I was able to go back and forth, back and forth with a little bit of pressure. Now, I'm dead serious. It is pretty tiring, so just so you're aware of it. So it took me about a good 20, 15 to 20 minutes of pulling it out within a couple breaks. Um, 
was kind of trying to get it from different angles was scratching my arm trying to get it up from up top trying to pry it see what was going on um so what i did was as soon as i got this unbolted i spin this around and then it stopped there's a little bracket right there that um somewhere i think it was that piece that that stopped it and then since the the water pipe was was loose and i was able just to kind of tilt the the pump it's the pump housing a little bit upwards and then slide it and spin it all the way around so once i once i pushed it just like that i was able to slide it and then i was wiggling it back and forth once it was almost there um now that i got that already off um ready to go to to do the install and i mean that's pretty much it um yeah it's a little it's easy process it's just a pretty difficult um thing just to get off this piece and yeah i mean don't forget to put your gasket back on it and all said all done um but yeah if this video helped you out give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and then hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future and thanks for watching